there's a curious thing that happens in VR that actually works in your brain, a different part of your brain. So right now, when we're watching a screen, we're still kind of watching it with the forefront of our brain. We're kind of aware. We know things. Um, we can, if even in a first-person shooter game, you can still kind of, there's a distance. You see your gun. Um, and in, in VR, there's something that happens with the brain that's very similar to what happens with your brain when you're watching a movie because you'll see some, some movement on a screen that you would really are certain that it moved, but in fact, there's nothing moved because it's just a still image in sequence. So there's no movement. That movement is assembled in your brain. Some part of your brain is way behind your, 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 your intellectual consciousness. And the same thing with VR. There's a sense that this is a present, that this thing is really here, that that is really there, this, this person is here, that's being assembled in your brain at a, at a place that's not in the front. And so when you have a VR experience and they drop the floor away and you're on the edge and you see this cliff, your front of your brain knows that you're just in the room where you have been all along, but there's another part in the back of your brain where you are just terrified and you have to step back. And you feel this. So there's this idea that you feel things and you have experiences in VR that are very different than, than knowing about them. And people have watched documentaries about terrible things, and they can watch them on a screen. But if you have a VR version of that same thing, it's just emotionally a wreck. We go away, and we don't, we don't remembering that we saw it, we're remembering that we felt it, we remembered that we experienced it. So I'm suggesting that the VR, the best way to think about it, is not as we're moving from an internet of knowledge and information to an internet of experiences. And experiences is the currency. And they are very, they work on us at a different level than, than the things that we see.